this. <clears throat> okay, so here are the pictures that just went to our desktop. And it looks like I must have hit the wrong piece because I have an extra one and I think it was this one right here. Yeah. I think if you hit command shift it takes a snapshot of the whole um, the whole desktop, so I don't need that one. But if I look at the rest of them, small picture. We have the uh, <clears throat> we have the pictures that we were looking for. Okay, so now that we have them, we want to open these up in Photoshop. And my computer is acting up and acting slow. So, Photoshop. There's the one. Photoshop. And open with Photoshop. And open with Photoshop. Photoshop uh, has gotten a little better because um, I can actually see uh, my desktop. And I like that idea. Instead of have, you can also set it up to have the big gray. Uh, the gray screen, but I like this. <clears throat> okay. So, before we create the icons, we need a, a placeholder for it. So, um, let's, let's create a new, whoop, let's create a new file. Go file new, and we're going to make this 100 by 100 just uh, later on we'll save this back to uh, 40 by 40 because that's the size of our icons and I'll just do it for 100 by 100 you can do it 40 by 40 um, I'm doing it 100 by 100 so that I can uh, so that you guys can see better so 100 by 100 and I can drag this guy out there's all my guns. And this is going to be my tiled icon. And once we finish creating all these guns, I'm going to resave this out as 40 by 40 before we start saving everything out because that's going to be the size that we need. So let's choose a nice brown. Okay. And we'll go over here, paint bucket, and just get on. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry guys. One thing you'll notice is that the background is locked over here. And so that means that I can't add no FX styles. I can't do anything to it. Um, mainly the FX palette. That's what we want to get used to using. But a shortcut is if I hover my mouse over it, hold down Alt and two left clicks, now I turned it into a layer. So now I can add FX styles and do whatever I want. Um, so let's do that now. Let's go to, uh, let's to these are our blending options, and you really want to get to know these guys. These guys will save you so much work, and uh, it has so many cool effects. And it's a layer style. So I just selected uh, bevel one and bows. Okay, I just want to move this guy over a little bit. And then you can get back into it. You can either right click and go uh, blending options, or you can just do left clicks on this little effects or the bevel and bows. And we'll click it over here. And outer bevel, inner bevel. The thing is just playing with all these things to see what you like. I usually don't play with the size too much. Um, we can click these guys over here, see what kind of bevel we want. And we'll stick to the normal. And we can add a contour to it. See what that does. Oh, that gave us a nice sharp edge. Kind of like that. 
kind of like that one. That one looks nice. So, click OK. I'm going to just zoom into this a little bit so you guys can get a better look. And it's actually pretty nice. It's got that nice hard chiseled edge now. So, let's, uh, let's play with these effects and styles a little bit more. Uh, we can do a pattern overlay. Click on there. We got the bubbles here. Um, let's, uh, let's scale it up. Make it bigger, bigger, bigger. That looks pretty good. And let's, let's take down the opacity so that we can see the color in the background. That looks pretty cool. A neat little design. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, as you drag these, you know, it changes inside the, uh, you know, you can see the picture change in shape. So, the kind of thing you can do is you can actually drag this around to get the, the, uh, the shape you want. Which is, uh, it's pretty cool. So, um, I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna do a, a file, save as, and I'll save it to my desktop, and I'll make this one a PSD. Uh, I'll save this as tile, because later we're gonna save them all out anyway. And click OK, and there we go. Now, um, I'm just gonna flatten this. And, uh, Go to layer, flatten image, just to give us some more space. And again, we got that lock background, but we know how to unlock it now. Hold down Alt, two left clicks, and let's create a new layer. This guy, all the way down here next to the trash can. And remember, get to know this FX Styles palette. It's it's amazing, amazing thing. Okay, so now uh, we have all our gun pictures. Uh, we have our tile background. <laughs> now we have to. Uh, now we want to create the icons. So what I do is uh, I go here and I click this uh, quick selection tool. If you don't have it, you'll notice on the sides of most of these there's a little black arrow. So if you hold down for a few seconds. That little black arrow will give us a pop-up, and we can use Quick Selection Tool or the Magic Wand Tool. This time we want the Quick Selection Tool. Okay. So as soon as it pops up, actually, that's why it's not popping up. <laughs> My apologies. Uh, I'm on this one down here. I want to be on. This one up here. Okay, and you can use the little brackets, <coughs> the brackets that you script with, you know, to close and open, and that will increase or decrease uh, your brush size. And that's what we're using. You, we're using a brush to select this guy. So we just click, click, and you see how it uh, fills in the. Uh, it just it it just works. It selects our gun for us, so it takes all the the tough part out of actually having to paint and do this model from scratch. So it's a quick little neat easy way to do it. Um, you want to make sure the whole gun is filled, meaning you want these little marching ants all around this image. Anything that's going to show up is going to be in here. Okay, if you'll notice um, I'll hold it over the gun right here. There's a the little plus sign. If you hold down the Alt key, it turns into a minus sign. The minus sign will uh, take it out. So, right in here underneath the scope, I'm just going to bring the brush size down. And I'll hold down Alt, it turns into a minus, and one click. There we go. Now we have the hole there that we wanted. And that's how you use that tool. <coughs> so, we'll go out to uh, Edit. Uh, copy, and then we'll come down to this layer, down to this uh, bottom image, 
one. Layer one, make sure you're on that layer. And we'll do, go back up to file, I mean, we'll go back up to edit and paste command V. And here is our gun, you can see the back handle. Um, go to the move selection tool. And one quick note about the move selection tool is um, you have auto select, up here at the top you have auto select, um, which is very cool because what auto select does is say I'm on layer, the background layer, and I'm on auto select, I can just click and be on the gun layer. I mean, I can switch back and forth between layers without actually having to come over here and click each layer, which is uh, very cool, very neat. Show transform controls. Now, uh, show transform controls is very good to have on because because I just copied and pasted this image in. How do I grab it? I don't know how to grab it. Uh, I can grab it and move it just like this, but it's nice to have that visual aid. So I always leave show transform controls on because it helps out a lot and it gives you these handles so that you can do stuff like this. We'll just go to the corner. We'll hold down shift and we'll drag. And then we'll grab in the middle here and bring it back. And that's why I love these controls because you can do stuff like this. Could you imagine doing it without these controls? It'd be kind of tough. So, um, also, you know, you can drag it in this way. I'm sure most of you have used an art program before, but uh, you can also drag the handles and rotate it and then hit enter and then I use the um, arrow keys to kind of center this guy up. So, there we go. There is our layer one. And we can call this gun one. Good. And our favorite thing to use is the FX layer styles. So we want to add a outer glow. Let's move this over so we can see. Okay, a lot of times when you hit the outer glow um, or one of these uh, options, a lot of times you can't see anything. And that's because of the size. Always make sure you have the size up. A few pixels. And, <clears throat> excuse me, we can play with the uh, the size, which will give the glow. We can play with the spread, which will make it really sharp and really bright. Um, you can click here and uh, change the color to make it like a real deep yellow. Okay, and you can play with the opacity too. Bring it up and make it even more, even uh, brighter. So, uh, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, that's it in a nutshell uh, for this part. Um, you can also play with the quality, like the contour. Um, it's got a lot of neat little things here. Give you different kind of uh, effects. Just click on play around, see which ones uh, you like, which ones you, you fancy. Um, you are the artist. And uh, I'm just going to stick with the basic. So click OK. And there's our layer style and effects. And we can get to this anytime we want. Uh, right click and do blending options, or you can just double click inside the effects or the outer glow, and it will bring up this layer style option for you again. Okay, so that's that one. So we want to go up here to the eye icon and turn that one off. And this image we need no more. So we'll do the next one.